Hello everyone, this is the King Therapod Show. Lion versus Tiger. This is a debate that has gone on for many centuries, with many people wondering who would win in a battle between these two beasts. In this video, we will be covering this very topic with accounts from historical times as well as recent incidents in which these two cats accidentally met together in cages or was deliberately put together for the entertainment of thousands. To start off our list, let's look at the oldest account of them all from the Roman era. Number one on our list, Marcus Valerius Martialis. A Roman poet which existed between 40 AD and 100 AD in the Roman province of Hispania, best known for his 12 books of epigrams, gave an account between a female tiger and a barbarian lion in which a Caspian tigress sprang upon mangling with bleak tooth a male lion. Number two on our list, from The Lady's Companion and Monthly Magazine, 1858 gave an account in which a Bengal tiger and a lion were pitted together in an amphitheater in order to determine which animal would win in a battle. At the end of the battle, the tiger emerged victorious, killing the lion. However, not long after that, the tiger was subsequently pitted against the buffalo, in which the buffalo then later killed the tiger. Number three on our list, from Bromwich, England, 1857, reported by Charles Darwin, in his book, The Descent of Man, 1896. A fatal confrontation between a lion and a tiger at an English zoological garden took place in which a Bengal tiger in an adjoining cage to an African lion some six or seven years old managed to break down to partition, separating the two individuals. The two animals fought in a vicious battle lasting about 10 minutes. Towards the end of the fight, the tiger managed to rip open the lion's stomach and shortly after, in a few minutes, the lion died after that. This very same tiger, which formerly was owned by the king of Oud, had been kept for several years by the king, for his amusements in the gladiatorial arena. Time and time again, this tiger had been pitted against the strongest lions, and altogether, the tiger managed to kill nearly 30 lions, until he finally killed his last one in Bromwich, England. Number 4, from the Harrisburg Telegraph, 1892 titled, Attacked by a Tigress, a Pennsylvania circus parade resulted in a fight between two adjoining animals, a tigress and a lion, in which the two animals engaged in a ferocious battle. By the end of the fight, the tigress emerged victorious, tearing open the flesh on the lion's head. Number 5 on our list, The Democratic Press, 1891. A ferocious fight between a Bengal tigress and an African lioness took place in adjoining cages at a Kolkata zoological garden. The door separating the two animals had been carelessly left open, and the tigress rushed in and disposed of her rival in a fight which lasted about 10 minutes. Number 6 on our list, the Chicago Daily Tribune, 1882. A tiger kills a lion, exciting scenes incidental to moving a monogree. To such a pitch of ferocity was one of the tigers stirred by the arrangements for the removal that he threw himself in a frenzy of rage against the partition, pounced upon one of the lions, and before the keepers could lift an arm, fixed his fangs deep into the throat of his victim. A torrent of blood gushed forth, and the king of the beasts desperately attempted to throw off his adversary, but it was no use. The tiger's grip was death. Number 7 on our list. The Dundee Evening Telegraph, 1884. The bloodthirsty feet of a tigress at Margate, who broke into the next cage, containing three very fine young lions, and incontently slew them all, has given a rude shock to the time-honored belief that the lion is always the king of the beasts. Nor were they baby lions by any means, but young and lusty specimens of their kind. Altogether, the abrupt and decisive termination of the one against three combat was surprising enough to those who only knew lions and tigers from hearsay. Number 8 on our list, the Gettysburg Compiler, February 7th, 1899. An extraordinary combat in which the King of the Beasts was vanquished in a battle to the death. The Gaquad of Baroda, that being Sire Joao III, arranged a fight between a massive Barbari lion from the Atlas Mountains in Algeria and a Bengal tiger 
from the Indian region of Shimla in front of an audience of thousands. During the battle, both animals sustained injuries. However, towards the end of the fight, the tiger managed to scratch Atlas the lion to death with his back claws. The Gaekwad of Baroda, which betted on the lion to win, had to pay 37,000 rubies as a result of the tiger's victory. Number 9 on our list. Tales of Travelers or A View of the World, 1838. A British officer who resided many years at Sierra Leone was repeatedly a spectator of combats between lions and tigers in which the latter was universally victorious. Number 10. Lion Against Tiger, The Pittsburgh Press, 1905 The owner of a one-ring circus traveling through the West this summer found himself in sore straits through the death of a much-advertised lion, which was the star attraction of the show. In the evening, the manager thought he would cap the climax by announcing to the audience that he would place the lion in the tiger's cage. On hearing this, the son of Aaron was terrified beyond comprehension. However, with trembling steps, he went into the tiger's cage, but at once crept into the corner, praying to himself, Faith God help me with this terrible trouble. This very same account can also be seen from the Boston Herald, June 15, 1905. Number 11 on our list, the New York Tribune, July 1909, titled Tiger Whips a Lion, while an audience of 1,500 people was in the hall of the Coney Island Animal Show and the lion and the tiger started fighting and before they could be separated the hindquarters of the lion had been so badly mangled by his striped antagonist that he had to be shot. The tiger, despite being hampered by a heavy neck chain, proved to be more than a match for his adversary. Number 12 on our list, the Tacoma Times, February 9th, 1911, titled All Hail King Grizzly. Once this King of the Beast question came up in France, and some dead game sports thought to settle it by a fight between a lion and a tiger. The fight was some fight, but the lion was as good as dead as soon as the fight started. The tiger cleaned up in short order. Then while the owner of the tiger was priding on himself on the fact, the tiger then was subsequently pitted against a grizzly, in which the grizzly bear defeated the tiger. Number 13 on our list, the Pittsburgh Press, May 8, 1914. A fight between a lion and a tiger, one lion named Hirata and the tiger named Raja took place at New York Zoological Garden, where visitors became spectators to this ferocious fight. The fight between the two beasts lasted for nearly an hour until Raja succeeded in grabbing the lion by the nape, killing him almost instantly. Number 14 on our list, The Prisoner in the Harem, 1913. A silent movie filmed in the early 20th century, produced by Canadian-born film director Sidney Alcott, featured a battle between a lion and a tiger, in which the tiger saves his master from a group of lions, as well as his arch-nemesis. For more than an hour, the battle continued between the lion and Akbar's tiger. Each beast was scratched and scarred, with the cruel claws of the other had torn long gashes in its flanks. The cage was literally splashed with blood, and the wars of the contestants horrify the spectators, but at last the tiger conquered, obtaining a death grip on the lion's neck. After the battle was over, the tiger, which played such an important role in his master's life, was petted and cared for, and in time his wounds healed, and he continued to grow sound and well. Number 15 on our list, the Aberdeen Press and Journal, Monday, April 8th, 1912. A fight took place between a lion and a tiger in the jungle New City Road, Glasgow, early on Saturday morning. Before the mistake could be rectified, the animals had closed, the tiger fastening his teeth on the right jaw of the lion. The trainer, by firing blank cartridges with his revolver, distracted the animal's attention, and in the pause that followed, both animals were successfully separated from each other. The lion, which was named Hubson, was described as being a mainless Nubian species. However, this is likely a misquote by the newspaper, as the Nubian lion variety is actually the one with the most amount of hair. I would imagine that the newspaper writer is probably confusing Nubian lions with Kosovo lions. Number 16 on our list, the Dunstan Times, Animal Fighters, January 1901. 
Still, in a lion and a tiger fight, one would hardly back Leo, for he is generally several stones lighter than the gentleman from Bengal. What Mr. Gilbert calls an interesting eastern ruler often has lion and tiger pitted in the wild beast fights which which he beguiles his leisure, and almost invariably is the king and the beast subjected to an invariable knockout. Number 17 on our list, the Circus Scrapbook, 1929. Another thing the captain once said, a tiger can lick a lion the best day a lion ever saw. I saw two of them go at it one afternoon at the old Hedgenbeck Wald show. They never got a chance to finish it because we separated them not wishing to see $4,000 get all chewed up. But the tiger had all the best of the argument up to the point where it was stopped. 